Hello everyone. I do hope you enjoy the short film of a nice day out with some very keen youngsters. Most, if not all of them, on their very first driven day. It's hard to explain how excited kids get when they are allowed to stand on a peg on a proper formal driven day. You will probably see the excitement on their faces as the day unfolds. Without a doubt, we have to introduce more and more youngsters into field sports. We cannot do this without the help and participation of the shoots themselves. I do hope that more and more estates jump on board and help introduce youngsters into our wonderful sporting pastimes. Welcome to the Kusani shoot. Thank you very much for, for coming. Uh, whoever's come from uh, far with good weather, we thank you for bringing it to, to us here in Wales. Uh, you brought your pegs, please remember your numbers. Uh, we're going to be shooting four drives. We're going to start off with a drive just behind here, but we'll drive uh, to that. Uh, your number from the right. So when I put you out, I'll start on the right hand side. So one, two, three, etc. along. Um, you will be live on your pegs. Okay? Please do not shoot at pigeons before the drive has actually started. Once the drive is going, if you wish to shoot at uh, pigeons passing over your head, then please do so. Uh, many of the drives will have some partridge in, and I think there'll be partridge and pheasants on the first drive. Um, you may possibly see some turkeys and some guinea fowl. The important thing is for you to be safe. And I want, please, for you to ensure that you've got plenty of sky around your birds. And shoot what pleases you, okay, but always please be safe. If anybody gets a turkey, I'll get 20 quid for it. <laughs> 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 Sunny Sporting Club, at the very tip of North Wales, uh, out on a, uh, the first uh, kids' day of this year. We'll get introduced uh, as many as we can this morning, and uh, just to show how how excited these uh, these kids can be. I would say that, without a doubt, that most of them have never shot a drone pheasant before. How old are you, Harry? 13. 13. Is it the first driven day you've been on? Uh, local oh. village. Shoes. Local village. Little, yeah. little bit of the first proper formal driven day, yeah. Yeah? yeah? Are you excited? Very. And what does Dad think? Because Dad likes a bit of shooting, doesn't he? Yeah, he says he wishes but, uh, he had a good one. Someone tells me you're a cracking shot as well. I hope so. I had a whisper that you were going to be a better shot than he is. <laughs> so we're not going to put you off, but we'll come back and check on you later, see how you've gone on. Yeah. All right, buddy. Yeah. We'll catch you later. See ya. This is what it's all about, kids. What's your name? Uh, Ashley. Ashley. And is this the, your first formal driven day? Yeah. First time ever? I bet you were very excited, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Normally, I'm the person pushing everyone around and treating them. Oh, yeah. It's nice work. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. And which part of the country are you from? Uh, Scarborough. Scarborough? Oh, you would have preferred trip then. Yeah. You've had to pass me to get here, haven't you? Yeah, brilliant. So what do you think about uh, these youngsters getting involved in shooting? I think it's fantastic for the game? industry. Yeah. I think every estate in the country should do should do at least one one day a year on, for every estate. That's nothing out of the uh, the pocket really. No, you know, good. 75 bird, 100 bird day. Uh, I've got, in, I'm getting sponsors now that's willing to pay and help pay for them anyway. So hopefully we'll, we'll build this up to you know, half a dozen days a year, but I would like all the estates to get on board and, uh, and donate a day. Like you say, it wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt the pocket at wouldn't all. wouldn't hurt the pocket at all. I mean, no. That buyer industry, no end. No.
as I said before, we've uh, we stood at the uh, side of uh, Burn, one of our uh, little lady shops, and the stood back here is, uh, is a very good coach shop, barn, a very good clay shot, international shot as well. So she's she's in very very good company as far as coaching is concerned, and she has she actually killed the first two birds. After the three she shot at. Go on, have a go on, have a go. Go shot. What do you think then, Joe, so far? Uh, are you enjoying it? Yeah. Are you, are you, are you paying attention and watching that sky? Well, I'm sure you're watching that sky all the time. Yeah. I think you shared that fashion day. Are you or you or you shared it? What do you think? Shared it. Ah, oh, that's all same. He's got such a connection with the countryside, he's got such a respect for the birds. We've, we've reared them as well um, as a family, so that gives him a bit of an extra respect. I came into it open-minded and I think that's what some people fail to do. And, yeah. and I, yeah. I was guided by the other people into the industry and learnt all sides of it. I think once yeah. you understand every side of the yeah. industry, yeah. you get to understand you know, why it's important and how it affects you know, I can them and, and you know, without shooting, Men. who's going to look after the flower? Yeah. Who's, who's going to manage the country? Exactly. Right? exactly. And, and also, you know, through introducing my children to it, all my children have got in. I think they've all grown up with a love of the countryside that I don't think they would have had if it weren't shooting. William's extremely passionate about the countryside and about animals in general. Um, yeah, I just think without shooting, you know, there's, there's a connection there that's lost. This young man, William, is brought up by parents who still care about their children, having strong connections to the countryside, and especially the shooting part of it, which I think is great. I find that shooting sports tends to teach kids very quickly, not only about the food chain, but also the importance of manners and how one must conduct his or herself in life. They soon become little gentlemen and little ladies as they experience their first truly awesome driven day. So, Emil, did you get a bird there at all? Did you shoot something? Good lad. So what do you think to it, Dad? Is it, is it something that, that all the estate should be putting on for young people? I know there's sort of wildfowling and stuff is sort of readily available, but yeah. there's not many sort of um, parents that do... It's hard to reach, really. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, yeah. And, and uh, yeah, I think I think... The issue is that if you don't come on the days like this, I know people can start on the beating, but, but it's different kind of view that you look at yeah. it. And if you don't come on the days like this, you're never yeah. going to really understand it and, and take it up. And but if they just charge, or, uh, you know, we don't want it for free, but if they just charge something to cover the cost of the visas and the figures up, you know, yeah. 250 quid per youngster. Yeah. I mean, that's, a, that's, that's in everybody's pocket now, isn't it? It you is. Know, it is. That's in everybody's reach. Yes. And they can have a nice day out and something that they've been watching on TV and never been able to get out and do. And I think it's fantastic. There's always something that, even without money, that somebody can do in the countryside. Exactly. But if they feel like they're left out all the time, they never get they never open that gate and get and, 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 and get into the countryside or get into the countryside yeah. pastimes. Yeah. Because they think, oh, it 
it's not it's too expensive there's and loads of things i can do without actually picking a gun up yeah, yeah eating picking up you yeah. know taking the youngsters out to enjoy yeah. themselves and so what's your name then bray bray yeah bray, that's a strange name bray yeah are we, are we, uh, is it is it something that mum's thought of that no dad dad he was a famous terrier man called cyril bray cyril bray and i said i'm not calling him cyril <laughs> and he said well what about bray or Cecil. I said, well, I'll go with Bray then. That's a nice name, that's all right. Then. How long have, have you been involved in the countryside yourself? Um, my uncle is head keeper at Bleasdale. Oh, brilliant. Uh, yeah. My husband was keeper there for six seasons. It's on my bucket list, that, yeah. Bleasdale. Yeah, it's good. They, they, keep, they won't let me go. <laughs> <laughs> so my granddad's always shot, then my uncle, and then I met Bray's dad, mm -hmm. and he went into keepering, and then we come out of it seven years ago. Mm -hmm. It's a shame though we can't get more and more kids involved, but I, I blame our organisations for that. You know, in, mm. in, in some in some way, shape or form, because you know I always say to them, oh, there's all these retired keepers, and why aren't they get, getting all of these retired keepers and you know, getting them to come back and go into school? I mean, who could learn kids more than a, the old keeper? He's done it all. He's classroom for an hour. Yeah. Because he could learn them all about yeah, the countryside. Yeah. All about the, the flora and fauna of, of Great Britain. Is this his first year? Then? All started around two years ago. Yeah. And then we belongs to the shooting club back in uh, Kent. Right. So he started doing uh, shooting uh, pigeons. Oh, brilliant. Really? Uh, 410. Yeah. Then I bought myself this funny game. Brilliant. Really? And I started doing clay pigeons. And today, for my birthday, I came here. Oh, brilliant. It's his proper, proper, birth, today. proper birthday present. Well done, hey. Now, little Oliver's first time out, and I was here to win, is it? Had two shots and killed two pheasants. So, you got a brace, didn't you? Yes. And this is what you're using here. Uh, I use black balls. 30 gram, 5 black golds. Here is little Ollie, a really enthusiastic kid, and it was a pleasure to witness his glee when he shot his first brace of pheasants. His parents, who hail from Poland, but who are now settled in the UK, really do encourage him to participate in our wonderful shooting sports. But on another note, here is a photo of Ollie carrying the birds with respect. I was prompted to add this photo after receiving criticism when Ollie picked his brace of birds up by the feet. I cannot do right for doing wrong. But Ollie was indeed corrected on how to carry his birds.
you just you just overlead him. You know, if you look at how, how long it takes him to get to the gun, imagine how fast that shot's going. See something like that, he only wants a couple of foot at most. Yeah. And when he's when he's that high, he wants it straight at him. Yeah. Excitement sometimes takes over, doesn't it, you see? Yeah. You're just plowing a bit too much on him. Well, well done. Absolutely brilliant. Shot of the day, Richard. Young man, can shot I congratulate you on what is probably one of the finest duck shots I have seen. Yes, I thought the same. Well done. Amazing shot. Thank you. Yeah. Well done. You should be very proud of that. Yeah. Lovely. Well Good. Uh, I'll yeah. give you a day of carry up, but I'll already give you one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll 20 quid in That's it, me, Phil. Win. <laughs> well, yeah, well done, bloody hell. Uh, well, there's been some lovely shooting here. Oh, I think it's been brilliant, and it's, it's nice, Richie, to get youngsters out in the field it like is. this on a, on a nice little estate like this. And you've done us proud, mate. You have. You've well, you know, it's uh, James. To be fair, well, uh, I know James. Done that, James but, uh, talked about it, and uh, yes, uh, last year, and it's come to fruition. Yes, and hopefully. We get more and more estates joining in and, and doing something. I hope so. Because like your family done today. Really. You know, we we need to feed from the bottom day. We need to bring in the, the youngsters in, you know, to um to keep them coming through the ranks. You know, and the days like this uh, is how I learned, and I'm sure how you learned as well. You know. Yeah, well, a bit of fortune, really, not, not <laughs> yeah. Down at its bottom with catapult, that's, that's where I learned. Yeah. Yeah. I have a feeling that someone's going to have a big gr broad grin on their face, Dave, for a long time. Well, is it, well, when we get the footage out, and uh, I might claim that bird for myself. I might put <laughs> well, it, I would, I, I would, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that good, I might put it on one of my films, <laughs> as, as I've shot that. Yeah, well, look, look at this duck here. Yeah. <laughs> well done again. Brilliant. Good, Good luck. Yes. Well Good done. Thing. Well Excellent. done. First of all, many, many thanks to the Guaisani Estate. Absolutely fantastic that the day that they put on, and I'm sure that every youngster enjoyed it. Has everybody enjoyed it? Yeah! <laughs> Even though many will say most of the youngsters are from shooting backgrounds, we have to start somewhere. If every estate put at least one day on a year, at a very reasonable cost. I am sure with the amount of youngsters able to take part, this will eventually trickle down to find new blood. The very key for our survival. Thank you. And if you can spare a day for the youngsters, please contact the below details.